Hi guys, it's uh, Inamka4 here. After showing you how to pair your PlayStation 3 controller with your Galaxy S3 smartphone, I did state in that video that you can do this with your Galaxy S2 smartphone as well. Now, I did get quite a few comments on people struggling to actually do this, so this video is for Galaxy S2 owners wanting to pair the PlayStation 3 controller with your Galaxy S2 smartphone. Now, for this video, you don't need any adapters. All you need is the phone itself, PlayStation 3 controller fully charged and the cable that comes with the, the PlayStation 3 controller which is basically on the one end you've got the standard USB 2 cable plugs into your PC and on the other you've got the micro USB cable that plugs into the PlayStation okay so for the time being we're just going to leave that there a second okay first of all as ever what you're going to need to do is this uh, Galaxy S2 is running Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.0.3. Your phone does need to be rooted in order to go through this process. If it's not rooted, I'll put a link in the description and on the screen of another video that you can follow to root your phone. Once you've got root access on your phone, what you need to do is go to your Play Store and search for 6Axis. Download the app called 6Axis Compatibility Checker just to make sure that your phone is compatible with this application. Once uh, you're sure that it is compatible, download the 6-axis controller application, which is about a pound and 10p. Once you've got that installed, just load it up. There you go. You, you get four boxes on the screen. Start, stop, change input method and pair controller. Start is exactly that. It starts the drivers so that the phone can then talk to the controller. Stop is that stops the driver so that your phone doesn't talk to the controller anymore change input method is switches between the the keyboard and the samsung keyboard that flips up and down and the controller itself and then pair controller is the bluetooth address of the phone's bluetooth adapter just make a note of that there and then obviously hitting clicking on menu there will give you various preferences from gamepad settings to poll rates of how fast uh, or how quickly it polls the PlayStation 3 controller, what sort of time intervals it polls it at, should I say, and then you can edit mappings from there as well, what the left, right, down analog buttons and what not do from there. Uh, you can do the same for keyboard and mouse settings there as well, just to give you a brief overview. Now back to the home screen of the application. Once you're on the six axis control application, as I said, make a note of that pair controller. and leave that on your screen. So I'm just going to put that down there a second. What you need to do now is to get your PlayStation 3 controller, plug the one end into the controller itself, the other end plug into your computer, and what we'll do is I'll just leave that there for the time being so you can see it. What you need to do, we'll just move over to the PC quickly. The easiest way you can do this is go to Google and just type in six axis pair tool and it's the first one that you get in the list it comes up as uh, I think the exact URL I'll just read that out to you is dancingpixelstudios.com forward slash six axis controller forward slash tool dot html either way it's the first one in the list so click on it download there's a link there it says download link six axis pair tool setup hyphen 0.2.3.exe it's about 10.25 megabytes download that install it it'll put a link in your start menu as it does there make sure your controller is connected to your computer before you click on this application that's very important so your controller is connected now click on the six axis pair tool and as you can see it picks up the the controller and it tells me the current master of that controller is that Bluetooth address which I think was my Galaxy S3 so we want to change the master of this PlayStation 3 controller now to be the Galaxy S2 so you know that address I told you to make a note of just type it in there exactly I've already got mine copied in so I'm just gonna paste it in hit update and there you go you can see the current master at the top has changed to the one I've copied in and we're done with the PC so X out of that unplug it from the PC and it stops flashing what you need to do on the application you've got there hit start and it says 
it's granted super user permissions and now it's listening for controllers now in theory the PlayStation 3's master the PlayStation 3 controller should I say controllers master is this phone so when we switch it on it should pair up straight away and it's flashing it's flashing and you can see it's client connected one so, and there you go and that's vibrated there so the PlayStation 3's con controllers master is now set as being the Galaxy S2 now that's paired so we leave that started and we'll load straight into Grand Theft Auto just take a couple of seconds to load that in Also, the screen isn't as big as a Galaxy S3 but still does a job now all the controls should work on the gamepad as per normal you can hear the sound music intro I'm going to press X, yes that works that skips past the intro so does that so you can toggle through left to right to go through the menus Why not? I'm just going to go resume, press X to go in that was from when I last played so it looks like it auto saved it got it ok so Just gonna do a quick mission here. All the controls still work. Triangle to get in the car. X for gas. And a left analog button for directional controls. Square for brake. And L1 for handbrake, as you can see there. Once I get to the next mission area. Oh no, more driving sucks by the way. Triangle to get out of the car. Just show you the directional buttons still work. Triangle is obviously getting the car. And get back out again. <laughs> Circle, punch square jump, X is run, L1, R1, don't do anything because they're car driving buttons, R1 and sorry R2 and L2 toggle through the weapons and I'm just gonna do a quick mission, yes, I haven't done this one Okay, so let's see what we can do with this one. I'm sure you've done all these missions on um, GTA before, where you just hit it, the cars, as long as the damage bar finishes, and then you've done. and I'll spun around let's see if we can do that again you gotta admit for a phone it's got a good graphics even the S2 I thought grabbing the van and doing this might have been a little bit easier because it's a bit bulky but apparently not
busted. Oh well, you get the idea. PS3 controller, Bluetooth connectivity with the Samsung Galaxy S2. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, please hit them up in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there, it doesn't cost you anything and it's free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day and we'll see you in the next one.